hello and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to learn how to solve radical equations now let's start by solving the simplest of examples now in solving radical equations the first thing you may want to do is to remove or do away with the radical or the square root so that's what we are going to do in the initial stages of solving this equation so let's rewrite the question we have the square root of x squared plus 7 equals 4. So first thing we are going to do away with the square root by squaring both sides of the equation. So the square cancels the square root and then we have x squared plus 7 is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16. Now let's transpose 7 to the right hand side. So this becomes x squared equals 16 minus 7 16 minus 7 is equal to 9 so to find x we are going to take the square root of both sides and then we have x equals plus or minus 3 so x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 3 now after finding the values of x we need to check if all the solutions satisfy the original equation or we have extraneous solutions in there now extraneous solutions are solutions that emerges from the process of solving the problem. However, they are not valid solutions to the problem. They are not valid solutions to the problem because after substituting those values into the original equation, you are going to realize that they do not satisfy the original equation. So extraneous solutions, they are solutions that emerges as you solve the problem, but they are not valid solutions to the equation because after substituting those values into the original equation, they do not satisfy the original equation. So let's check for the two values, x is equal to 3 and then x is equal to negative 3. So when x, when x is equal to 3, we are going to substitute 3 into the original equation. We have 3 squared plus 7 equals 4. 3 squared is 9, so 9 plus 7 equals 4 9 plus 7 is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 so since 4 is equal to 4 x is equal to 3 is a solution now let's test for when x is equal to negative 3 so we have the square root of negative 3 square plus 7 equals 4. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 7 equals 4. 9 plus 7 is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. Also, since 4 is equal to 4, it means that x is equal to negative 3 is a solution to the equation. Therefore, since x is equal to 3, and x is equal to negative 3 satisfy the original equation they are solutions to the equation So since x is equal to 3 and then x is equal to negative 3 satisfy the original equation, then they are solutions to the equation. Now let's take the second question. So for question 2, the square root of x plus 7 minus square root of 3x minus 2 is equal to 1. We are going to solve this radical equation. So the first thing we are going to do is to transpose negative square root of 3x minus 2 to the right hand side because we don't want to deal with negatives so first of all let's rewrite the question square root of x plus 7 minus the square root of 3x minus 2 equals 1 next we transpose this term to the right hand side so we have the square root of x plus 7 equals 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 2 now let's square both sides of the equation to remove the square root. So 
So the square cancel the square root, we are left with x plus 7, and that is equal to, now 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 2, all squared means that we have twice of this. So we are going to multiply 1 by itself, that is 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times the square root of 3x minus 2, it still remains as the square root of 3x minus 2. And then the next step, we are going to multiply square root of 3x minus 2, times 1. So when you add the 2, you have 2 times of the square root of 3x minus 2 plus you multiply square root of 3x minus 2 by itself which is going to give 3x minus 2 because the square roots will cancel each other. So this is the explanation to what I did here. We have 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 2 times 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 2. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the square root of 3x minus 2 is square root of 3x minus 2. Square root of 3x minus 2 times 1 is square root of 3x minus 2. And then square root of 3x minus 2 times square root of 3x minus 2 means that the square root will go away so that we have 3x minus 2. So when you add this two, you have 1 plus 2 times the square root of 3x minus 2 plus 3x minus 2. So this is what I did here. Now let's continue. Let's try to simplify this expression. We have x plus 7 equals 1 minus negative 2 is negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus 3x plus 2 root 3x minus 2. Let's transpose negative 1 plus 3x to the left hand side. So x minus 3x plus 7 plus 1 equals 2 times the square root of 3x minus 2. This becomes negative 2x plus 8 equals 2 times the square root of 3x minus 2. Now 2 is common to both terms so we can divide through by 2. So when we divide through by 2, we have negative x plus 4 equals square root of 3x minus 2. Because we still have a square root, let's square both sides of the equation. So this becomes negative x times itself is x squared. Negative x times 4 is negative 4x. And then we have two of them, so that is negative 8x plus 4 square is 16. So 16 equals the square cancels the square root. We have 3x minus 2. Let's transpose all these things to the left hand side. So that is x square minus 8x minus 3x plus 16 plus 2 equals 0. So this becomes x square minus 11x plus 18 equals 0. Here we have a quadratic equation. We need to find the roots of this equation. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1. Coefficient of the constant term is 18. So we multiply 1 by 18 and then we have 18. Now we need to find the factors of 18 that multiply to 18 and then adds up to negative 11. So factors of 18, we have 1, 18, 2, 9, 3, 6. Yes, so because we need to get negative 11, we are going to negate this and also negate this. Negative 2 times negative 9 is 18. Negative 2 minus 9 is negative 11. So the factors of this quadratic equation is going to be x minus 2, x minus 9 this is equal to 0 so x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 x minus 9 is equal to 0 x is equal to 9 now we need to test if all these two solutions or roots satisfy the original equation so when x is equal to 2 we are going to substitute 2 into the original equation we have 2 plus 7 minus 3 times 2 minus 2 
equals 1. 2 plus 7 is 9. We have square root of 9 minus 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 2 is 4. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. So since 1 is equal to 1, then x is equal to 2 is a solution to the original equation. Now let's test for when x is equal to 9. So we have square root of 9 plus 7 minus square root of 3 times 9 minus 2 equals 1. 9 plus 7 is 16. 3 times 9 is 27 minus 2 is 25. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And since negative 1 is not equal to 1, it follows that x is equal to 9 is not a solution to the original equation. Therefore, since x is equal to 2, satisfy the original equation. It is a solution to the equation. Since x is equal to 2 satisfy the original equation, it is a solution to the equation.